Hello everyone, I'm Ms. Rachel from the Antioch Public Library District and I'm here today for our amazing animal story time with my friend Penny the Penguin. Say hello to everyone Penny. Hi. Penny is very excited for our program today and Penny's going to help me by beginning with our three penguin jokes. Penny, what did penguins eat for lunch? Hmm. Icebergers. <laughs> Penny, where do penguins keep their money? Hmm. In a snowbank, of course. <laughs> Penny, where do the penguins go dancing? At the snowball. <laughs> now, Penny's going to help me sing this song that's up here. It's sung to the words of I'm a Little Teapot. It's okay if you can't read these words on your own. I'll sing them to you. I'm a little penguin, black and white. I am a bird, but I cannot fly. When I get real hungry, I go swim. Our first story today is called Little Penguin and the Lollipop by Cag Bentley. Thank goodness you're here. I really need your help. It's my friend Kenneth. He's a little upset, and I think I know why. You see, I ate Kenneth lollipop. It looked so delicious, I couldn't help myself. How was I supposed to know it belonged to somebody else? Kenneth had it in a jar that said Kenneth's don't eat. I don't know if this has ever happened to you, but let me give you some advice. What advice are we about to get? Never take a lollipop from a seagull. It makes them very grumpy. Check it out. I think it's very good advice. I feel terrible. I feel terrible about it. So I tried to make it up to Kenneth. I gave him a hug. I told him how delicious his razzle dazzle seaweed lollipop was. I even wrote him an I'm sorry card. None of it worked. Oh, poor little penguin. But now you're here. I've got one more idea. You are the perfect person to help. Just do what I do. Make a funny face and repeat after me. Razzle dazzle lollipop. Ready? One, two, three. All right, everybody do it. Razzle dazzle lollipop. Mm. Uh oh. Well, that got his attention, but he's not smiling yet. Let's try again, even sillier. Make a funny face wave your flippers and yell even louder ready one two three razzle dazzle lollipop i think we're making better funnier faces than little penguin Arr! nothing is working have you ever felt like that? I know I have. Maybe our friend just needs to take a minute and think of a new idea. Let's try once more. Or that. That could work too. Super goofy this time. Make the funniest face you can. Wave those flippers in the air. Jump up and down and really shout. Ready? One, two, 
three. All right, everyone. We're going to do it. Razzle dazzle. Uh-oh. What happened to little penguin? <gasps> Lollipop! Look what little penguin found. I found one, Kenneth. I found one. A razzle-dazzle seaweed lollipop just for you. Uh-oh. Did we learn a lesson here that we should be applying? I think we did. I'm really glad you like it. It looked ever so delicious. It was just lying there, waiting for me to pick it up. I don't know how it got there. Maybe somebody put it there to save for later. Kenneth still hasn't learned... I uh, know, Penguin hasn't learned their lesson yet. I'm sure that this lollipop doesn't belong to anyone else. There's an orca with a bucket that says Franklin. And that's the same bucket little Penguin got this lollipop out of. Uh-oh. The end. Let's read one more story, and then we'll sing our next song. It's yeah. called Penguins by Liz Pinchon. It's morning at the zoo. The penguins wake up and have their first swim. Everyday penguin activities. Swim, eat fish, play penguin games, sleep standing up, look at people, look at more people. These are penguins who live in a zoo or an aquarium. Not sure which yet, but I'm sure we'll find out. On rainy days, the penguins don't do much at all. But when the sun shines and the people come out, it's fun, fun, fun. <gasps> Someone dropped something into the enclosure. After all the people have gone, a little penguin notices something. Don't touch it says his mother. Somebody will be back for it. But nobody comes back. The penguin moves closer for a better look. Someone lost their camera. See it? On the rock. He goes over and picks it up. It's a camera, says the little penguin. What do you do with a camera? The other penguins ask. You smile at it, says the little penguin, grinning. That's some pretty good advice, but I think Penguin is missing something. Are you sure you can't eat it? asks the hungry penguin. A baby penguin jumps on the camera and says, Let's push all the buttons! Push! The flash goes off. They all get bug eyes. Everyone waddle over there and line up, says the little penguin. Okay, they reply. The little penguin looks through the camera lens. What do we do? shout all the other penguins. The little penguin puts his flipper on the button and says, Everyone look at me and say fish! The little penguin takes the picture. That's one talented bird. Click! Now all the penguins want to use the camera. Click! They take lots of amazing pictures. Flash! But suddenly, the camera stops working. Oh dear, says the mother penguin. You better put it back now. 
whatever could be wrong. So the little penguin put the camera back on the rock where he found it. The next morning, the zookeeper sees the camera. Oh, they are in a zoo. What's this doing here? He says, I'd better take it to the lost and found. Soon the camera is returned to the little girl who dropped it. Your camera is not broken, says the zookeeper, but the penguins seem to have pecked it a bit. That's okay, the little girl replies. I love penguins. A few days later, the pictures are developed. There are pictures of monkeys, lions, tigers, elephants, and strangely, there are quite a few pictures of penguins as well. See all those penguin pictures? And, oh, thank you, Penny. Here are all the other pictures she took at the zoo. Crazy, isn't it? It's so amazing. And so silly. Let's sing our next song. It's called The Penguin Waddle, and it's just like the Hokey Pokey, except we pretend to be penguins. In, you take your left flipper out, you put your left flipper in, and you shake it all about. You do the penguin waddle, and you turn yourself around. That's what it's all about. Right flipper. You put your right flipper in, you take your right flipper out, you put your right flipper in, and you shake it all about. You do the penguin waddle and you turn yourself around. That's what it's all about. Left foot. You put your left foot in. You take your left foot out. You put your left foot in and you shake it all about. You do the penguin waddle and you turn yourself around. That's what it's all about. Right foot. You put your right foot in. You take your right foot out. You put your right foot in and you shake it all about. You do the penguin waddle and you turn yourself around. That's what it's all about. Beak. You put your beak in, you take your beak out. You put your beak in and you shake it all about. You do the penguin waddle and you turn yourself around. That's what it's all about. Tail feathers. You put your tail feathers in, you take your tail feathers out. You put your tail feathers in and you shake them all about. You do the penguin waddle and you turn yourself around. That's what it's all about. All right, Penny, time for our last story. I'm going to be reading to you from Little Penguins, written by Cynthia Ryland, pictures by Christian Robinson. Snowflakes Many snowflakes I like those curtains. What about you? Winter is coming. All the penguins must be excited about that. Mittens, many mittens. And matching scarves. Ooh, they're getting all ready to go out and play in the winter weather. Socks, one for each foot. What about boots? Red ones. So how is the snow? Look at that silly penguin with the red scarf. Deep! Deeper. Very deep. 
silly red penguin. Where's Mama? On her way. Here she comes. Brr. Let's go home. In the door and off with the boots, off with the scarves, off with the mittens, off, off. Jammies on. Warm cookies, please. And sippies. Thank you. These are some very polite penguins. I'm glad to see it. Wrap up tight. Watch the night. And now they're going to sleep. Winter is here. The end. Thank you, Penny. Now I'm going to show you the craft that is what our finished project should look like. Today we're making a Valentine's Day themed penguin craft. You'll put the heart shaped and circle shaped pieces together, add the beak, and give them their Valentine candy heart. Very simple. Now for our penguin facts and then our goodbye song. Penguin fact number one. Penguins come in all sizes. They can be anywhere from only two pounds to 80 pounds. That's as much as a very big kid. Number two. Their black and white coloring is for camouflage. From above, it's black and blends into the murky depths of the ocean, like when they go swimming. From below, their white belly are hidden from bright surfaces of the snow. They only live in the southern hemisphere, but they live on many continents, including Africa, Antarctica, Australia, and South America. Number four, the Gentoo penguin is the fastest swimmer. It can reach speeds of up to 22 miles an hour. That's almost as fast as a car. Number five, the oldest fossil scientists have ever found were of penguin relatives that date back to 60 million years ago. That's the same time that the dinosaurs were around. Those were our five penguin facts. Sorry I missed a couple of numbers with my finger, but I'm sure you were able to follow along. And now it's time for our final song. I'm going to let Penny rest and I'll dance for this song. goodbye song. We're going to do the goodbye rap. Wave up high! Wave down low! I think it's time. We gotta go! Wave with your elbows. Wave with your toes. Wave with your tongue. And wave with your nose. Wave your knees. Wave your lips. Let's all wiggle our fingertips. Wave with your ears. Wave with your hair. Wave with your belly. And grab all your gear. Wave with your chin and blink your eyes. Now wave with your hand saying goodbye. Goodbye everyone. I'll see you next time for another fun installment of animal, amazing animal story time.